Hey, yo, what is up, FPG fam? Further here, and Cobalt B is the newest Simulacra introduced to the global side of Tower Fantasy, so you know what that means. It is tier list time. So if you're new to the channel, first and foremost, welcome. I do appreciate you clicking on the video today. Thank you so much. But secondly, whenever a new Simulacra is introduced to the game, we then do a tier list to see where they land and see how they stack up against the other Simulacras. Now, of course, this is just my opinion. Also, another disclaimer, we are doing strictly PvE. And another disclaimer, it's going to be strictly at zero star. So no advancements, just base Simulacra what you get by pulling them for the first time. So keep those things in mind. And of course, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions down in the comment below. And we're going to be doing something a little bit different than we've done in past tier lists. Because in past tier lists, I've had them already on the board from where I had them previously. But this time I thought we would start from scratch and see if it lines up to what I had previously. And it probably won't. There's probably going to be some changes here. And then we'll see where Cobalt lands. So I do hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much. Drop a like and sub if you're new. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Starting with Claudia. So remember, this is A0 PVE. And for Claudia, I think at A0, she's bringing some decent utility but not the utility that you really want from the Simulacra, right? I always recommend at least A1 for Claudia for her to be that Simulacra you want her to be, which is that damage buffer. But at A0, she's not doing that, but she is bringing some decent utility. She's bringing the damage reduction. She's bringing the immunity. She has high charge rate, low skill cooldown, can do some decent damage, the physical resonance, right? She's still bringing some good stuff to the table, which is great, but you really want that A1 for her to shine, right? So because of those reasons, I think I'm going to leave her in the A tier. I believe that's where I had her last time. And I think on my previous tier list, I had A plus and then S. Here we just got double S and S. So keep that in mind as well. Coco is a different story. Coco, I naturally in previous tier list had her high up there because she was arguably the best healer in the game. She did her role extremely well. But the more I thought about it and the state in the game where we're at right now and getting your guys' feedback from previous tier list, I do have a different perspective on coco because it is pve it is a zero coco like are you really bringing or needing a healer especially on a frost team if you think of the frost team comps right now you're thinking frig meryl and then most likely subasa most likely nemesis most likely claudia coco doesn't in pve really fit unless you're just really taking on some extremely difficult content and need a healer because your dodge may not be all that great or your rotations might not be up to snuff or you just are a healer support main benediction main whatever you want to call it i can see you then bringing coco but for the most part in most scenarios you're probably not bringing coco in pve so because of that reason i am gonna bring her down slightly i think a tier is where i would have her i think before i had her an a plus which would be s on this tier list so bringing her down a notch down a tier is the right move in my opinion moving on to frig frig is still double s tier i had her in s tier double s tier frig is incredible she brings so much utility she brings the dps she brings the multi slashes the infinite dodges she brings the buffing for the frost weapons she brings the frost resonance like Frigg is one of those all-around fantastic Simulacras, core integral parts of the Frost team, is going to be around down the road as well to be a part of future Frost teams. Like, Frigg is fantastic. She's incredible. I absolutely adore and love this Simulacra. I think she's double S tier, hands down, right? Don't really need to go much more into that. Now, let's talk about Huma. Huma's interesting, and now we had the introduction to Cobalt B with the Flame Resonance. I already had Huma pretty high on the tier list. And I think Huma stays there and maybe even gotten better, right? Because now we have the Flame Resonance. She's getting additional Flame Damage. Huma's just a great, great Simulacra. Once again, a very good all-arounder, right? She can tank. She can do damage. She can Shield Break. She has the same charge and same Shield Break at 10. So it's like dead even. That's like middle of the pack, middle of the road. I love Huma. I think she's fantastic. I think she's great. I think she's all-around a uh, simulacra that you can place on teams and third slots and be perfectly fine i'm gonna go ahead and put human in the s tier which would have been the a plus tier but now it's the s tier fantastic i think she's a great simulacra and, and gotten a glow up with cobalt b even more and is now even more relevant so human s tier i like where that's at right there now let's go ahead and talk about crow i think crow's still great i think crow still has a place in the vault team i think crow can still do damage i think crow has utility to a degree so I'm going to go ahead and put Crow in the A tier. 
<laughs> I think he's good. I think he could get the job done. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave him in the A tier. And this is no particular order, by the way. Um, that's where I think Crow is right there. Now, let's go ahead and talk about King. I think King is great. I think King, especially once again with the Flame Resonance being introduced, being able to do some more damage, Shatter's great. I think King is overall a good Simulacra in the Flame team. I think down the road is going to be pushed out though, so investing in him is just something you need to be cautious of. I think King is A tier. I think he's good. I think he does his job well. I think he is able to do more damage obviously now with the Flame Resonance. He's got things going for him, but there are some things that hold him back, you know, just being kind of one-dimensional. I think investing in him might be something you would want to be cautious of because he's probably going to be pushed out of his team down the road with the introduction of Ruby, Lynn, Annabella. I just don't see where King fits in there. And then Cobalt B having the shatter that she has. Now, albeit, I think King still does better shield breaking, especially because you probably have advancements on him, so that's going to help him out a lot. But you do have Cobalt B that has good shatter. You have Ruby who appears to have the same shatter. We'll have to see that subject to change. So you kind of have the shield breaking roll down packed. You have Huma who can both shield break probably to a better degree than King and has good charge and can tank and can do damage. It's like King is just finding a hard time being in his own team. And that's rough to say, but it's the truth. And I think because of those reasons, I would just put him in the A tier for right now. Great Simulacra. It's definitely going to pay dividends for you right now. And you're going to enjoy him. Um, but I think down the road, he just might get pushed out, right? And I think there just might be equivalent, competent options to him or better. So, there's King. Uh, Meryl. Okay, so Meryl. I'm going to go ahead and put Meryl in the S tier right below frig i'm i think what i'm going to be doing moving forward is the double s tier i'm really going to reserve for those like simulacras that are just in a league of their own in my opinion ones that kind of really stand out from the pack but at a zero i think meryl is really good but i feel as if you would want that a1 for her to truly shine because at a1 you get the additional shatter you get the healing which is fantastic because you don't necessarily then have to run a healer if you shield break so meryl at a1 is great meryl at a0 is still fantastic right you still have hyper body on just about everything that you do spin to win the skill the skill is fantastic um, the discharge is incredible being able to really control the enemies with the discharge Meryl brings a lot to the table, and Meryl is extremely good in the Frost team. Um, having that uh, pairing with Frigg is just phenomenal. They are one of the best, if not the best pairings in the game. And those two together are just a menace, whether it be PvE or PvP. So uh, Meryl's fantastic with Frigg and really does the job well. But I think I'm going to go ahead and put her in the S tier because, once again, I'm really leaving the double S tier to those Simulacras that just really separate themselves from the pack and i think meryl is very close to doing that but not necessarily on the same tier as frig at a zero so i'm gonna go ahead and have meryl in the s tier now moving over to nemesis nemesis is double s tier she's able to do all field dps she's able to do passive healing she has a slow on her dodge attack she's bringing the volt resonance buffing the volt team and the volt weapons Nemesis is just one of those simulacras that is going to be around just like Frigg down the road in the future as well for Volt teams. She's just great. All around a great simulacra. Great in PvE. Great in PvP. Great at A0. She's just phenomenal. And she's bringing a lot. And she's doing a lot. And she's doing her job well. So I think she's most certainly double S tier right there with Frigg. And those two, in my opinion, really just separate themselves from the other simulacra. So I have those two kind of on an island on their own. Now, moving over to Samir. At A0, I think Samir's great, and I'm going to go ahead and put her in the A tier as well. I think Samir is one of arguably the better DPSs that you can obtain in the game. Paired with Nemesis, does tremendous damage, has a very safe aerial AoE, great AoE just in general with the skill and the discharge. I love Samir, and I think she's great. I think she's a great DPS um, and is able to output some tremendous damage. But at A0, I think she's just A tier good but nothing like out of the ordinary 
crazy broken, right? I just think she's a really good, solid Simulacra. And keep in mind, guys, if a Simulacra is an A tier, that doesn't mean they're bad. That means they're solid, that they're good. I don't know why people have this notion that if they're in the A tier, that means they're bad. That's not the case. A tier, they're good, they're solid, they're fantastic. They're going to get the job done. They play their role well. So A tier for Samir. Now we're going to move over to Shiro. Now, remember, it's A0 Shiro. And at A0, I think Shiro is B tier. I do think she's B tier. Now, hear me out. If you think about A0 Shiro, that rhymed. She is one that's going to be able to do some decent shield breaking, some decent damage, like a sub DPS. But if you're really thinking about it, the best thing about Shiro at A0 is the skill. And that's not something that you can do all the time. The normal attacks are okay. The discharge is decent, but it's really the skill that you're looking for when it comes to Shiro. And once again, you can't do that all the time at A0. Now, advancements really do shoot Shiro up. And of course, with Claudia, shoots her up as well. But I think at A0, even paired with Claudia, I think she's a B tier Simulacra. All right, now moving on to Zero. So we talked about A0 Shiro. Now we're gonna move on to Zero. And Zero at A0 is C tier. Sim simply, I mean, there's not much more to say. He's, he's C tier at A0. There's just not much that the Simulacra is really offering outside of a shield and some decent damage, being able to tank, but at A0, doesn't have the healing, doesn't have the attack buffing. Just not much, really, that Zero brings to the table. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave him in C tier. That's just where I think he belongs. Once again, I mentioned this in past tier list. As you start to unlock advancements, this Simulacra starts to shoot up like most Simulacras would. Um, but C tier for Zero. Now, moving on to Subasa. So, Subasa at A0, I'm going to go ahead and put in the S tier. And the reason being is because Subasa on a Frost team with friggin' Meryl is just a fantastic team. And she plays her role extremely well in that team. She does damage. She's able to get some freezing off. She's just a great Simulacra in that team. And I think because of that reason, she is in the S tier at A0. And Subasa just does her role. She does what she's supposed to do. And she does it well. So I'm going to go ahead and have her in the S tier um, because of those reasons. Now, Cobalt B, time to talk about the Simulacra of the Hour. Cobalt B just recently released. I got to play her extensively. I got to lab her. I got to try her at A0 extensively and A1. Um, and my overall consensus on this Simulacra is that at A0, I think this Simulacra is a solid low a tier high b tier i'm i'm like teetering between the two and it, it's for multiple reasons now i did a full review on this simulacra you can check it out i'll leave it linked at the end of this video just giving my thoughts on her and my my honest opinions and the reason why i have her in a tier just going over the the pros first is that she can do some decent damage and if you lap the tech out with her you can really optimize the damage it's nothing really to write home about even if you optimize it at a zero but it's decent she has some utility within the flame resonance so that's always going to be nice if you're a flame main and trying to build a flame team but outside of that there's not really much else that cobalt b is doing for you she has the shatter at 12 and a half but to be quite honest with you it's not the most fantastic thing in the world not to mention you have King, not to mention you have Huma. So like the shield breaking is great, but you have shield breakers already. So it's not really necessary. Her charge is good. She can get her discharge off pretty decently. So that would be a pro right there. Um, but outside of that, she's just not all that great. In my opinion, she has no mobility. Um, she, when you do want to have mobility with the Simulacra, you have to use a lot of resources with your dodge and endurance. So she's resource intensive. Her skill is fantastic, but it's on such a long cooldown that it becomes a bit of a detriment, in my opinion. I think that needs to be rebalanced. And all of her really good damage is locked behind advancements and matrices. So she just becomes a very expensive simulacra if you want her to really shine the way you want her to shine and do the damage that you want her to do. So because of those reasons, I do have her at A tier because she brings some utility with the flame resonance. The damage is there if you lab the tech out. You just got to use resources. And the skill is good when you can get it off. And the discharge is good. And she has a good charge rate. Um, and, and 
shield breaking capabilities but outside of that that's why i have a hard time of whether it's it's low a high b for me i think it's low a high b right now i'm going to go ahead and give her the benefit of the doubt and put her low a so anyways guys that's where i have cobalt b low a tier high b tier but i'm interested to see what you guys have to say i'm interested to see where you would go ahead and have cobalt b on your tier list and um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you like what you saw i'm gonna go ahead and get out and out of here remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do my name is cody but you can call me further i'll see you all in the next one bye guys